ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, my darling, darling baby, got a little bit of the OJs in my background because we go there when we can. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. Darling, darling, baby. You're my son. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. I've spent the better part of the last 45 minutes creating something specifically for you all. Ladies and gentlemen, there are going to be people who are going to take. Oh, no, it's not the desk game, see? Deskscape, Deskscape, that's my moving desktop. No, it's not that that I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. It's, remember I told all of you that when you request an accounting, you have a right to a certified accounting? You, you remember that, right? Remember I said they can't just send you no statement that is not certified? They have to send you a certified statement? I'll give you plenty of love! Because only you deserve the best! You're better than all the rest! All the room could have! Sorry, I had to go turn the heater down. It was getting toasty up in here! And I don't need to be toasty. It's 64 degrees. 64 degrees is comfortable. It's going to be in the 70s today, but we started out in the mid-30s. And so I just don't want to be sitting up here in 30 degrees, so the heater is on. You know what I'm saying, Vern? So the, we'll get about 68 degrees, and I'll turn it off, and it will say completely warm in here all day. I'll give you plenty of love. Sorry. Hey, it's the OJs, okay? All right. OJs, give me a second. I got to talk to the people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and see if I could explain this. I am the guy who tells people what I know, not what I believe, what I know, without having proof of what I know, and then I show you the proof of something I've never studied. I just know that you have a right to these things. Now, you've heard me take offense in the past of individuals claiming that I'm getting my information from someone else. What the, I'm, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you where I'm getting my information from. This morning, I was making myself something to eat. I was getting ready to do you all a video on taxes. I'll be doing that next. And before I ate, I had a conversation with my God, thanking him for the food that I was about to eat. And in that conversation, I was talking to him about y'all. <laughs> yes, I was actually having a conversation with him about you. Uh, anyway, and this is what came to me, peoples. This is a request for accounting, request regarding a list of collateral or a statement of account. We don't want statement of accounts, ladies and gentlemen. This is why they give you statements of account. This is why you receive statements of accounts from these idiots. You need to label, title your document, request for accounting. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that the request for accounting, this is what request for accounting means. It means a record of a type described in two, three, and four. What type of record? An authenticated record. Not just a statement that doesn't have a signature on it, certified. No, an authenticated record of accounting. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to request for everything in a soup bone. Okay? Because I just had some soup and ain't no bones in my soup. You don't need to request for everything in a soup bone. Let's show you what you're going to request. Ladies and gentlemen, this document I just created, all you do is type their name here, type their address here, type the reference account information here. Yes, you can type over the address of response, type over that, the date. All you got to do is pick the date 
and it will automatically put the date there. Okay, it's a fill-in document. Then, dear principal or agent and or recipient, you don't have to add nothing else. You don't have to write nothing in. It says this communication is with reference to the alleged collateral relationship. I have a right to an authenticated record of accounting. I am not requesting a statement of account. For an authenticated record of accounting, okay, not requesting a statement of account for an authenticated record of accounting. I want an authenticated record of accounting. Pay attention. I am hereby disputing the alleged debt. And to require that you provide the requested information within the time allotted by law, which is 14 calendar days. Statute says 14 days. It doesn't specify calendar or otherwise. We're going to specify calendar days. I do wish to thank you for your time. And providing, it's supposed to be in providing, so I'm going to correct that now. Haven't proofread it. In providing this information, which is readily available to you as the custodian of record, okay, and or the collective entity. Please note that each day beyond the 14th calendar day of receipt of this communication, I will be assessing a $33 per day penalty for your failure to comply and or $1,000 per month, whichever is greater. I have the right to this information as indicated by the Uniform Commercial Code. This is the code, request for accounting, request regarding a list of collateral or a statement of account. Definition, request means a record. Request for an accounting means a record authenticated. Duty to respond to request shall comply with a request within 14 days of receipt. In the case of a request for an accounting by authenticating and or sending to the debtor an accounting and request for accounting or regarding a statement of account, no interest in obligation claim, blah, 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 we put the code here. Technically, it's not our job to tell them what the code says. They're supposed to go read it. Go read the code, mother. Okay, they're supposed to read it. Let's do that right there. There we go. As noted above, you have a duty and or obligation to respond with the appropriate information within the time frame allotted and or permitted by law in conjunction with its other laws and statutes. Let's get rid of with other, let's do this, R-E-L-A-T-E-D, other related laws and statutes and limitations because this is associated with, supposed to be A, a debt that is being reported, Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the Truth in Lending Act. Penalties and assessments or failures to act and or failures to comply with statutory requirements, please be advised. I sincerely, intentionally thank you for your compliance with this notification. Your name, you're going to enter your information here, and then you're going to sign under your name. You're going to be the underwriter for all your documents from now on. You're not going to sign above your name. You're going to sign under your name. Okay? There ain't no law saying you got to sign above your name. Put your name and then sign underneath it, documenting that you are the notary. Sorry. A lot of people don't understand that you're your own notary. Your word is your bond. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when you go, there is a link. The document will already be up. I just have to do this right here. Watch. Save. Oh, mama, he's saving things. And I'm doing it for the OJs because you see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to do my best to give it to me, give it to them, give it to Herbie. Gotta go. Come on now. Aw, uh, it won't let me do it. Very special lady. The OJs, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Give me ya. Sweet and tender. Oh, yeah.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the only reason why we go through this right here is so that I can show y'all I'm putting it on the net. Now it's going to tell me, hey, the document is already there. What you want us to do? And I'm going to say, you're going to overwrite that mother. Okay? We're going to do the only if the source is newer and let you see how it's going to update it. Okay? Because that's what we do here. All right. So the document is done. It's on the internet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, many of you guys are going to be tempted to redo the document. You're going to be tempted to add more to it. And I'm going to let you be tempted and stupid. We're only using one code. We're not using 100 codes. Your job is to demand a statement of accounting. Then when they try to foreclose, you want to go into foreclosure court saying, oh, no, Your Honor, they can't do nothing. They're, they're stopped. No, they violated my rights. I have a right for them to give me an authenticated record of accounting. I need to know where every penny has gone, where every penny is coming from. I need to know the taxes. I need to know everything. Okay? So we're going to be right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're going to do Johnny Taylor, Disco Lady. We're going to do that the next video because y'all check it out. Check it out. Move in, move out. Disco Lady. Okay? Now, some people say, you know, that's not a very nice song, ladies and gentlemen. It's Disco Lady. He's talking about some lady dancing. Okay? All right, we won't play Johnny Taylor because he go, oh, sexy lady. Okay, like the way you move your thing. Okay, now he could be talking to his wife, but we're going to say he wasn't. And we're going to skip that song the next time around. I just focus on the words. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a few more edits to the document. And when I do that, I say it's two pages. Leave it alone and just send it. Okay? Just for once, trust me on what I'm doing. Or trust the God that I serve on what I'm doing. I know, I know people have tried to use this code before, but I promise you they ain't done it like I'm doing it, nor with the angle that I'm doing it. So go back over the video and see where I'm going. See how I'm suggesting you use it in foreclosures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to go, but we're going to see y'all in a minute, okay? Got to go. Adios. Arrivederci. Sayonara. You know, all that other good stuff.